I just bought this mountain that I'm standing on and I need everyone to help me out because I, I want to use permacultural design and create a food forest and a sustainable way of living, gathering energy from the sun, the wind, there's lots of wind up here and harvesting water as well. But since I don't know anything about gardening or the land, I'm hoping you guys can send me your comments and let me know what works, what ideas you may have. I'm gonna be walking around the land and showing you the different spots. It's not that big. And tell you some of the ideas that I have for that specific section. And you can let me know if it's a good idea, if it's a bad idea, if you can think of something better, if you got any experience of things that you did and worked out or, or things that you did and did not work out. So to start off, this is the very top of the mountain. It's already flat. But what I'm thinking of doing is lowering this part by another maybe five or six feet. So it's level with the entrance that's on the side over there, which I'm gonna be showing you shortly. That way I expand the size of this area here. And all this land that's here on top, I, I wanna move it to the side, to the back, and to, to the side over here. That way when I drive up to the terrain, I don't have to drive up here again. I can just, as soon as I drive up that driveway there, I'm already in the flat area. As of right now, this will be where the house would be. I'm gonna show you back there and tell you what I got, what I'm thinking for that part right there. So let's go over there. All right, so this is the, right now, the back of the land, which actually, if the house faces that way, the entrance is over here on the side. So it's, it's the front of the mountain, but based on the house, the view, this will be the back area. It actually goes down from the flat land there. So I'm thinking of some of that land that I'm gonna be lowering, moving it back here and leveling this whole area. But I also got in mind trying to create some sort of water storage back here, uh, either creating a pond with fish and ducks and something like that, and then figure out a way to have the water to irrigate to the side over there where I plan to do a food forest. I'm gonna be showing you over there. And also further back behind those trees, the land continues. So it goes down into a, a flatter area that I'm gonna be showing you. So if, if the water here can also irrigate down that way, it will be awesome. If I cannot create some sort of pond, uh, then a man-made structure that it will help me to uh, gather water because uh, the purpose is to have the water as high as possible in the land from what I've seen in permaculture. And that will help, help me irrigate the land uh, through gravity. So let me go down to the, to the entrance driveway there so I can show you what I'm talking about, about lowering the, the land. And let me know what you guys think of what I can do with this area. If I don't put some water or anything, maybe I'll put a deck and a hammock or, or something, or a gym. So let's, let's go down to that area over there. So this is the entrance to the top of the mountain. I was just standing right up here on this flat land. That's the back side that I told you that I want to make some sort of pond. So what I, what I want to do, all this that is here, lower it by about five, six feet to kind of levels with the ground. That way, when I come up here, I'm already on the land and it gives me a wider space and perhaps a bit longer because it will be more, more like a rectangle, flat rectangle over there. So I wanna find a way to put some sort of water retaining thing up there. And if possible, have it irrigate down this slope here, because on this side, this whole slope that I'm gonna be showing you, that's where I wanna create the food forest. So from, from the very beginning back there, where the trees begin, all the way to like further back there, this whole area, and down to the road over there would be the food forest. Still haven't figured out if I'm just gonna leave it like, like it is on a slope 
or if I'm gonna try to create some sort of terrace, maybe digging into the mountain and creating like this right here, flat, down, flat, down. Or instead of digging into the mountain, actually just bringing some rocks and, and stuff and adding on to the mountain to create the flat land and then it'll drop. It'll be like the hanging gardens of Babylon. So I'm gonna be showing you where the food forest is gonna be. So let's go over that way. All right, I'm shooting wide angles way back here to try to give you a sense of the space of the land. This is where I want the food forest to be. And I can see that the camera, the angle is not wide enough to cover all the way over there. And it's not wide enough to cover all the way over there, but it, it gets, start to give you a rough idea based on my size, I'm six feet tall. So from all those trees there, I'm gonna clear the land and try to use the trees that are there, uh, create compost, build any kind of structures that I might need. But this area here, like I was saying, I, um, I still haven't figured out if I wanna terrace, like where you're at over there, where that is flat, and then it goes down and try to create another flat area here, maybe two and right behind those trees, there's a road. And that, that road is the edge of, of my land. So it's pretty large. Like the whole perimeter is about two and a half acres. So if you got any tips on how to start building the soil, get, getting nutrients in the soil, how to start preparing for some sort of food forest or how to build a terrace or what materials would I need, uh, if you can tell me what kind of trees, I'm in the tropics, I'm in Puerto Rico. Maybe you know what kind of trees will be good for here. I mean, the, pretty much the whole island in Puerto Rico, it's a tropical island. Further south, way that way, it gets hotter. So, but this town where I'm at is in the mountains, so it, it's kind of wet. There's plenty of moisture and, and the, the ground is fertile. As you can see, the mountains behind me, everything is green or maybe the pond will be up here, like stretched out. And this water is the one that goes down with gravity and with rain and all that and, and starts irrigating the land. So let me know what you think. I, I'm really interested in what all of you have to say. So now let's go over to the other part of the land. All right, this is the lower part of the land. Down here, all the way down there to where the trees have been cleared out, uh, belongs to me. So all this, I wanna make it like another food forest. And like I said earlier, I want the entrance, a second entrance to be back here so I can come directly from the house, from behind these trees and tend to this food forest here. I know that at the very bottom down, down there, between these two mountains, there's a creek that runs through. I want to see how I can get some of that water, maybe get a pump and pump it up to whatever uh, water storage system I, I put up there. Also down here, I would like to have some sort of water retaining system, uh, like another pond or something man-made or a very good canals or something that will irrigate all this food forest here. Uh, so, so if you got other ideas for the, the layout of this land, anything that you can help me out, uh, let me know. It will be really awesome to find out what you have to say. So now I'm gonna go to the road over there where the land ends so you can see it facing up and give me more tips on, on that side. So let's go over to, the, to that side. Okay, I was able to find this spot here where you can see all that, that clear spot up there. And at the very top, you can see my car. Well, all that area from over there where the car is, like further back behind the car to down here, to all the way to the entrance where I was just at over there will be the food forest. 
to all that area. If you got ideas on how I can create a food forest, let me know. There's plenty of space up there to farm just about anything. And further back, maybe in the future, if I can have, like I probably mentioned earlier, ducks, chickens, maybe some sort of pond down here, like digged in to this bottom part here, have different types of fish. So let me know what you think, help me out. I don't know much about gardening. I wanna do permacultural. I, I hate saying that word. Permanent agriculture. And whatever house I build, I don't know what the materials I'm gonna use now, at the moment, I don't know. But I do wanna have solar panels and I wanna have wind fans, wind turbines, whatever and be completely self-sustained over here. I don't want to have any electricity from the city. Uh, I want to be cut off from the water as well. That's why I want to have my own reservoir of water, several of them if possible, and just live a positive, environmentally friendly life where I can you know, bring people, show them what I'm doing, teach them about farming as I go. And if I begin, uh, and the food forest begins to be productive, uh, I can start selling it for, for cheap for people and maybe having them come over and, and buy very cheap and at the same time I'll teach them how to do things so they can do them at their, at their house and begin appreciating the environment and the land and where we come from and respecting the land and <clears throat> so we can have it for a very long time and it will continue to feed the generations. So please write in the comments below any information that you can give me about my projects what works, what doesn't, if it's all a bad idea. So I look forward to hearing what you guys gotta say. I'm gonna continue looking for these things.